Okay, what I'm going to talk you through now is the difference between all the Atunga compound bows. So I'm going to show you the range. The first one I'm starting with is the Atunga Elite. This is our top of the range compound bow for a number of reasons. This is perfect for beginners right up to experienced archery users. It's great for hunting, it's great for target practice out the back. Um, it's fully adjustable so you can adjust the draw weight by undoing these bolts. The draw length is fully adjustable. As you can see, it's got the programmable cams. Now this is a mild cam, meaning it's a, a perfect circle. So it's not as much effort to pull it back, yet it's still powerful. So you're still getting 70 pounds out of this bow and you're not fighting against a weird shaped cam. This one is carbon dipped. Um, there's, we have it in a few different finishes at different times. It's split limb, so you have two limbs. It's very lightweight, very compact. It's our shortest bow and our lightest bow, yet one of our most powerful bows, and it's certainly our best quality bow. So that's the, that's the Elite, really good for beginners and really good for obviously experienced users as well. The next bow we have is the Commando. The Commando is, is just as powerful as the Elite, but the cams are different. You have a teardrop shaped cam, which means it actually requires a bit more effort for you to pull this string back on this bow. So where with the Elite bow, it wouldn't be as hard to pull the string back. This one's a little bit trickier, or it takes a little bit more effort to pull it back. This one obviously is not split limb, it's um, solid limbs, but it still has the programmable cams. So we can still change the draw length and we can still change the draw weight on this bow. Um, we draw, change the draw length over here and the draw weight by adjusting these bolts. It still has all the upgrade holes international standard screw threads for things like stabilizers or arrow rests, aiming devices. You can put any of the third party ones on it. This one's probably more towards the intermediate to experienced user. Wouldn't necessarily be ideal for a beginner, but if a beginner was to use it, uh, they might want to take it down to a lower setting than its um, 70 to 75 pound max. That's the commando bow. The next one we have is the Atunga Extreme. This one, because of its price point more than anything else, is the one that's usually preferred for beginners. The Elite is ideal if you can afford it, but if you can't, this is a good compromise for a beginner's compound bow. Again, this still has all the holes and everything for all the international standard upgrades. You can still adjust it, you can still adjust the draw weight on it. You can only adjust the draw length a little bit, I think it's two inches, so you can get it from about 27 to 29 inches by changing the slot that you put the cable inside of. So obviously the, the cam is not as detailed as the one that's on the Elite or the one that's on the Commando. And this one's called the Atunga Extreme Bow. Um, this one we can actually get in left hand. We can't get the Commando or the Elite in a left hand version. This one we can get in the left hand version. The last bow I'm gonna show you is the Black Ops range. And Black Ops is the name of the range. It doesn't necessarily mean it comes just in black. We sell this in camo as well. Now this is a very, very different kettle of fish than the other compound bows. This is a much simpler bow and the quality is not as good as the other three compound bows. The aiming device you get is plastic, uh, the other ones is metal. So the aiming device can easily be broken. Um, well, I should say easy, it's easier to break this aiming device than the metal one on the, uh, on the other range. This is not adjustable, not upgradable. So you can't put things like stabilizers on it. You can't change the draw weight. You can't change the draw length. And then it's got a few other quality differences as well. The cables are not plastic coated. The cable guard is not thick, it's not plastic coated. The hand grip is not molded, it's just a piece of plastic um, that goes onto the bow, it's not molded. And there's lots of areas where the detail of this bow is not as good as the extreme or the other bows. But the reason we do sell this one is because we can get this in a 28, 36, 48 and 55 pound set. Uh, as in uh, different models, but none of those can be adjusted. So if you buy the 28 pound, you're stuck with 28 pound. If you buy the 55 pound, you can't make it weaker and you can't make it stronger, it's set at 55 pound. The string is, uh, is still an imported string, but it's a lot trickier to do um, things like replacing the string on this bow because the, it's much more intricate. So there is, a, is, a, is quite a lot of quality differences between this and the other bow range. But that's just to show you the Atunga range of compound bows. Thanks very much.